That's funny. The Dashton Show. The Dashton Show. Watch the Dashton Show only by Bravo. <laughs> And we're all, and we're on here on an end. Will you say your chart for me? What is your astrology sign? Aries. Moon and Sagittarius. Mercury, Pisces, Venus, Pisces, Mars, and Gemini. And I'll tell you what this means in a minute. Um, okay. Your sun is in Aries. Your moon is in Sagittarius. So you probably just had to, like, uh, drive around and uh, or travel or something, school to school to learn things. Your inner being is reminding you much to tell your mother to preach you. And your, uh... Sorry, this is, your Venus is a Pisces, so you treat everyone like they're your soulmate. Unconditional love, forgiveness, and uh, your Mars is in Gemini, which means when you talk and you get mad, you trap people in the conversation, and like your wit is like astounding. You know what I mean? And like you could just be like, what you say is like, what? Now I am not. Okay, your Jupiter's in Pisces, means you're psychic, you can be a medium, and you're lucky with that. Your Saturn's in Gemini, which means you either had a lie for your dad or lie to your dad or become a liar and you have learned lessons through communication and you could become a, a public speaker or it could be taken away from you or something or just be like you know talking to everyone community and also, anyways oh okay Oh, uh, your, your, okay, your daughter, her moon, she's a Pisces, on the cusp of Aries. Okay, her moon is in Taurus, which means beauty's from within, and, like, um, it means that sh sh you, you know, whenever she's crying or something, you're like, I oh, know about me. here, yeah, <laughs> so she had a beautiful mom, and she has a stable mom, and a financial secure mom, so when you just, like, spoil her with money and food, and she thinks money is love. Because she'll become a brat. Because she's moon and Taurus, will mean she thinks she's entitled to everybody's money. She thinks money is love. So she's looking for... And her ve her Venus is also in Taurus itself. She's looking for somebody to be financially secure like her mom. Because her mom's the one that's financially secure. Be like, are you crying? Here's some here's some food and here's some money. And that's how you kind of deal with that bitch. All right? Because she was, cause she's, cause she's born this way, right? Okay. I mean, her Mercury's in Aries, so she'll be aggressive. And she'll they think about thinking... And then her Venus is in Taurus, like I said. And her Mars is in Gemini, too. So when y'all have to hold down with y'all's talk and stuff, y'all both trap each other in the conversation of yelling. Mm -hmm. And it goes loud. It, it is. Does. Her Jupiter's in Leo, so she gets all this under and attention, a narcissist attention, because she's got Jupiter in Leo. She's got the heart of the matter. She's the heart. Everyone surrounds her. Everyone does this and that for her. I thought I know. Her, I sat, her Saturn's in Aquarius, which means her father is ecotistical man. He's either her friend or treats her like, you're not allowed to wear that. You're not allowed to go. Don't talk to people like that at school. Do not talk to this person weirdo. That person cannot dress like that. You know, he'll be like ecotistical and like a loser. That to be the father. And, he, and she has learned the lesson to be like, I'm going to be my own individual self and I'm going to be weird. I'm going to treat everyone equally and be friendly and have a healthy ego instead of a, and she'll have a crumbled ego with this. But if she does decide to be the person to uh, treat everyone with God's love that she's been given or whatever, an opportunity to know knowledge. She, she'll be really, really smart, even about astrology. To learn astrology, she'll learn lessons that'll be hard for her and restricted on her. Yeah, so she does. And she's learning her freaking lesson now. And she needs to learn her bullshit because this rules astrology Aquarius. And then she does that, she can become a famous astrologer and it can be taken away from her just because she's a little bit of a dick about her ego. She's like, I know it all more than you. And no bitch. Ah, well, no bitch. You're, 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 <laughs> she'll, she'll be like, you're allowed to be on this talk show and this TV show because you're an astrologer. You know the knowledge. You've got the gift. And then one day she'll be like, I got the gift and I can know everything. And then it'll be taken away from her, like, Jenga, bitch. Oh, no. So she needs. Um, to just be like, okay, what are equal? I don't know. Be yes. the I want you to do mine. And be, be equally right to everyone. And anyone can speak up and be like, you know, social media kind of good stuff. It could be taken away from be like, oh, you're grounded now because her dad was like, you cannot be on social media because you know, it's a father. But you're the mother, you're the tourist, and the beautiful stay mom giving her the school brat attention because she has luck with the attention and making everybody do this. And then she has photos, garbage, she has little inside chairs. No one wants to see her move go around the corner and leave. Or, or study or learn something because it might turn into I don't know I don't know what she wants to learn but it's restrictive on that but she rebels and becomes proud of herself. Your your Lilith is in Capricorn. You're you're the career. No one would take, see you do a career. You rebel to be having a career and have a job and have your reputation to be a boss and be bossing, be the father. 
you were to rebel. People was like, no, you're not going to be in this top. But you rebelled to be this, and it, you become proud and arrogant of it because that's what you would be good at when people are taking, you know, kind of so forcing you not yeah. to. You rebel to be this little boss, fathering figure person. Yeah. And it's in other, and you have houses and stuff that's supposed to be in, but you didn't tell me your time of birth, did you? Did I tell you what? Your time of birth, like I was going to want to live here? No, no, I don't know my time of birth. Okay, that's fine. Oh, yes. No, wait. You are Capricorn rising. That's why you have a beautiful face. Because the Capricorns are so beautiful. They're like, that's all they got. You know, my little ears. <laughs> my little, little hair things that I usually have. But whatever. I'm like, but they are a beautiful face. And you're so beautiful. And, I, and um, so you come off as serious and other things. I don't know. But you're not. You're like all fun and sunshiny. Like almost a Leo rising or something. But not a narcissist at all. No, you're not. You are no. like really, really cool. You're a little bit than Capricorn, so... Jerry, I ha we have her present. Well, we have it. You have Is it? she watching me? Uh, no, but she's over. She's coming back over there. Can you tell her to come over here and see me? Yeah. We are. yeah. Also, your Uranus is in Libra, so when you're unusual and wacky and in this awkward place, you would not like that because it's in Libra. It makes you decent and normal. It just normalizes it and you just do it beautifully. It doesn't really matter. And just in a little imbalanced way. And no one sees it as, oh my god, you're a weirdo. And you know, it will just, they'll, just see you, okay, they'll just see you as a, as a normal thing. You know what I mean? It will be, it, you know what I mean? Decent. It won't be like, you're like me. I'm the weirdo and I'm like this outcast. But it won't, you won't be this outcast. You just leave a little person. Look, I want mine. You'll do. And you have put on leave, but that means you like isolate yourself with other people. Like I'll be like, uh, just come over here so I can be alone with myself. You know what I mean? Like, 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 yeah, like, yes. And, and that's how that kind of is. Yeah. And then, and you're, okay, your okay, your crown is an Aries, so you always have to um, heal yourself through knowing who you are. Like I am the I am thing. You like so once you know who you are, you're like, no, I might be this. I am this. And you smile. Huh? Do you want? Yes. And you know exactly how to approach people like right away like that, but it'll take it. It won't. You have to reheal it again. Like oh, I messed up on how to uh, uh, personify myself real quick. And, but you will. It will. You always constantly have to come back to healing that, and that's all. And then you're and, and, and people come to you as Zeros and Aquarius. So people come to you for your knowledge and your friendship and how you are treating everyone equally. People come to you to be healed by that. That's what they come to you for. Because you're seeing like, how you heal others as a friend, like a true friend. You know, you heal other people That's with so your mind, so with your mind, and all this. Baby and, uh, and your palace is an Aquarius as well. So your creative projects and what you know is create uh, is uh, decorated with your knowledge and your friendship. Like you probably has friends, pictures everywhere. Like That's how you do. That's oh, the family. So, well, the family. If it's a fourth house, there's usually friends. it would be like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, they're as your friends, I guess. I don't know. Uh, your vista is a leaper. Oh, you've been given the gift of beauty, that, and balance, and um, partnerships, like marriages and stuff. And, uh, okay, I gotta go now. Um, also, your daughter is a Capricorn rising. Your daughter's a Capricorn rising, too, so she'll be beautiful just like you. You know what I'm saying? I think so. And then, um, oh, and her son. I'm so confused. The daughter is Saturn and Aquarius, like I already told you. But your Saturn was in Gemini, which means the hand, the hand. No, no, no. This is not your restrictions. Unless you were born in her same year, which I don't know what y'all's are. No, it's a generational blend. But no, I don't have no clue. Unless, okay. Okay, but yeah. So, okay. Uh, March 20th, 1997 is still, um, okay. Well, um, I don't know why this back has a different uh, chart on it. If it, okay, if this is her chart, you're, I think I got it wrong and then I put it on the yeah, other side. Yeah, she's more okay, 40 wait. of 91. Okay, this is the right one, then, the one I said earlier. So that was the right one. This one's the wrong one, 1997. So you wouldn't, you're not a narcissist and your, her moon's not in Leo and she doesn't care about just fun or, and just friends because she cares about money. That's her correct part. <laughs> Not attention, it's money. It's money, not attention. So this side, the wrong one, is that. Anyway, yeah. You want to write it down? Uh, this is yours, but you want to write down yours on a piece of paper on the You redo this whole thing? Yeah. What's your astrology sign? Gemini. Thank you, ever so kindly. What is your astrology sign? I'm a Taurus. Oh, that's my favorite sign of all signs. Thank you, ever so kindly. 